Sweaters aren't just for wearing anymore. Look how they can be created into pillows to cozy up your couch. I'm Megan Pyre of Brassy Apple and you're watching Refashion It. We probably all have many sweaters in our closet that aren't being used. They're too small, too big, too worn out. Maybe they even have sentimental value. Well, rather than have them take up space, let's use them and enjoy them every day by creating them into pillows. For this project, you'll need a sweater, could be from your own closet or even thrifted secondhand. You'll need a pillow form or polyfill, sewing machine, straight pins, measuring tape and scissors. If you're going to be using a pillow form or have a pillow that you want to recover, just make sure that your sweater is the right size for your pillow. And it's always a good idea to use the two sides of your sweater that are already sewn for part of your pillow. Now today we're going to be using polyfill, so we can really choose whatever size of pillow we want. I've gone ahead and cut this sweater off right underneath the arms. The next step is the fun part. You get to embellish. And before you sew the top and the bottom clothes, you'll want to put on your embellishments. Now there's many things you can do. This yellow sweater happened to have long sleeves on it. So I took those long sleeves and created them into rosettes. I've got a green one here. And it's simply just, we've all made probably half a dozen or so of these rosettes. It's just twisting and turning the long sleeve sweater as you go. And with your needle and thread, every couple turns or so, go ahead and run your needle and thread up so that it doesn't unroll. Once you're done, you place it on your pillow and then using your needle and thread, you would attach it to your sweater. Another idea is ruffles. Again, I had a long sleeved sweater and I cut the sleeves into these strips. With my sewing machine, I ran a basting stitch down the center, and then again, as we all like to ruffle, you pull that bottom thread and just gather it as much as you'd like, which is how we created the ruffle on this pillow. This one I used two, ruffled them, pinned them on, and then sewed them down the center. It's just a fun, really fun look that you can play on stripes in different colors. Another way, is to create smaller rosettes. And we, we refashioners know that you like to use lots of different kinds of scraps. So this one was a sleeve and this one are just tiny rosettes. I took the end of a sleeve with my needle and thread. I just created little folds and ran it through, which I've done on this side. Secure it with a knot and then just kind of work your way down so it's flat. Again, run your needle and thread through so it's secure, and then you place it on, and with your needle and thread again, secure it to your pillow. You can also take smaller strips and create the rosettes the same way we did with the yellow sweater, just on a smaller scale. So once you have all your embellishments on your pillow, then you can go ahead and turn it inside out, run a with your sewing machine, run a stitch across the bottom and a stitch across the top. Now when you secure your bottom, make sure that you leave an opening for your form or your polyfill. And if you use a sweater that has a little bit of stretch, your opening will end up being larger, which we've done with this one here. Added my embellishments and I left an opening. Take your polyfill Fill it up as much as you'd like. Make sure to get into all those corners and smooth out any of the lumps. Then once it's all full, go ahead and tuck your opening under just a little bit with the needle and thread. You're gonna make a tight, tiny whip stitch. Secure it closed all the way and you've got yourself a great new pillow that you can enjoy rather than taking up space in your closet. So take another look at what's in your closet and get refashioning. I'll see you next time.